up YouTube, Gentry 101, I'm back. I know it's been a long time. Uh, just had camera stolen, all my equipment. So I haven't been shooting videos, pictures, anything in quite some time now. I've been kind of been out of shape trying out this new GoPro Hero 8. So far pretty impressed, it's a big huge difference over the session. Don't remember which one it was, it's been about four years now since I purchased that one. Uh, so we'll do a quick kind of overview of what comes in this. I think the deal is going on through Monday, uh, but this is the GoPro Hero 8. They're on sale 349, so you're going to get the camera. Obviously, you can't see because I'm holding it in my hand. So we're going to get this thing opened up, see what it looks like. It's also going to be kind of a test on what this camera can or cannot do compared to the uh, Sony that I was shooting with beforehand. Uh, well, while I'm waiting... I guess while you guys are waiting, let me open up and destroy this box, kind of give you an idea of what happened. Uh, so right after this really awesome photographer slash BMW slash grand opening of a restaurant event that a buddy of mine and I held, uh, we started this group and kind of neat got Anyway, long story short, had a whole bunch of fun, had free food, had some music going end of the night came home left all my equipment and stuff inside the actual trunk of my car didn't think anything about it live in a safe community windows tinted out doors locked uh come out the next morning somebody popped open the actual lock stole the mercedes benz badge off the hood and popped open the trunk and everything was gone camera four lenses some lighting equipment mounts sd cards so all my stuff from Porsche Fest in Houston. Yeah, in Houston, uh, several weeks ago, gone. Gone, 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 gone. I was stupid, didn't think to take anything off of the actual, you know, SD card, put it on my SSD, and start processing everything. I pulled two photos over. Two photos. This thing's light, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot better, you know, carrying this thing around, lugging this thing around. Versus carrying around a APC, AP, a yeah, not a full frame Sony camera. Can't spit that out right now. Anyway, before I sound too much like an idiot, let's uh, get back onto this lovely low profile jack. All right, so got the box tore open. You know, comes with your normal stuff. It's kind of nice. Got a quick connect detent here. So how well that works. Not too well, I guess. All right, that looks like, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that goes in there. Yeah, there we go. Tighten this up. And then this makes a lot more sense. This is where I'm gonna go in here. I'm glad I got some of that grease transfer. Why am I looking at myself? Okay, so like any other jack, righty tighty or righty pumpy, and lefty loosey or lefty deflaty. Sorry. All right, so let's see here. It is pretty light. I mean, the wheels on this actually are pretty impressive. I mean, I'm using no movement here, or no movement, excuse me, little to no effort here, bouncing this thing around. I guess this would be a good test of this GoPro audio too. I haven't tried this out. So uh, what do you say? We give that little quick pump there a test on the 135 since we've got to do some routine maintenance. And guess what? STBRSCCA is coming up next weekend. So, again, if you didn't watch my last video, that is a essentially a South Texas bordering region um, sports car club of America. So they're here in Corpus Christi, pretty darn sure they bounce around South Texas since it's South Texas border, right? Saturday uh, and Sunday of the month. So it'll be the 6th and 7th. Pretty sure it's 6th and 7th, not 7th and 8th. 6th and 7th. Um, so if you haven't, again, watched that YouTube video from that last one, there wasn't too much video footage. Uh, it was just a lot of pictures, really. Uh, some of those were shot by Kevin Monio, again, a good buddy of mine. And some of them were shot by me. I uh, did some basic editing in Lightroom. Very, 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 very basic. There was no video color profiling. I still haven't even played around with that, so I'm not really too sure what that's called. 
I haven't messed around with it too much. Uh, maybe I can do this with the GoPro stuff in Adobe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so gotta get some oil changed in that. Gonna do the brake fluid. Might be one of those immature kids because I've never done it before, so why not do it? Do a muffler delete. Uh, but really, that's just for weight savings because believe it or not, that little tiny car is a heavy freaking pig. I think they're 3,300-ish pounds. Like, come on. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny car. Oh, hi. Daddy, hi. How did you get a boo-boo? Uh, remember that boo-boo, Dad? Uh-huh. I told you I got a Barbie Band-Aid. A Barbie Band-Aid? Barbie Band-Aid. You're silly. Band silly. <laughs> Let's see what we can get here. Little mini tripod things, actually. Kind of cool. Doubt you can see me. There we go. And look at telescopes. Cool stuff. Cool beans. All right, so righty tidy, righty uppy. Find our lift block. Holy crap. And the quick pumping. Quick pump. Looks like I can't get full articulation again because I got this skinny, tiny garage. Got the good old trusty built to last, Dura last. Not sponsored or endorsed by them. How freaking cool would that be though? Had a lot of plans. A lot of different stuff planned out what I was going to do for shooting. Um, you know, I was going to get into trying to do the, you know, whole detailing thing. As far as showing you guys all right well that is a quick drop as well apparently i get into doing some like body molding carbon skinning carbon fiberglass making had all kinds of crazy ideas and then somebody stole from me messed me up mentally don't like thieves um don't like liars don't like thieves at all i'm gonna start ranting anyway um what are you gonna need to change the oil on your bmw well um a nice niece niece a nice oil filter cap wrench, uh, which I have one. I'm just too lazy to look for it. Essentially, what that's going to do is go on here. So we got these nice little ribs on here. Goes on there. Um, you know, they then have a like a you can fit like a 17, 19, or 22, um, or the common three sizes that I've seen. They'll go on side of there, or excuse me, the cap will go on there. Then you can put your wrench or ratchet and socket on there, and lefty loosey pulled off. Um, cool thing about the factory ones is they actually do have the, you know, torque spec stamped on there for those who don't know. And I do like torquing stuff down to spec. Yeah, but also, and then we're going to get underneath this beast, drain the oil. Obviously, make sure you are disposing of your oil correctly. Um, all kinds of parts stores will dispose of your oil for free at no charge to you. You can get these cheap little oil catches. Uh, this one's relatively small. You get these big ones like this right here, which is, you know, kind of what I use for transmission services. So I'm going to finish getting the passenger side jacked up over here, and then I will come right back at it for you guys. Welcome back. All right, so back at it. Got this side jacked up. Had a little bit more space over there in that area to get this. So uh, let's just twist, lift off, let that breathe, and then we are going to figure out how I may be able to put this to where you might be able to see what the heck it is that I'm doing. Hey, you know what? Just had a great idea. Got this uh, nice head mount that came with this that we can try out. So I'm going to get it mounted up on here and give this a shot and see how goofy and ridiculous I look. Be right back. Preview as to what the heck you're really doing. But uh, anyway, we're going to get this put up on here. So slide that through there like so crazy enough I actually ended up buying this for when I was doing gun related things and not automotive related things funny enough works really really well for tightening barrels to ARs or AR platform firearms it should be loose enough where I can turn it with my hand I lied it's not just keep going until we get this. And that feels loose enough for we should be able to spin it off. Hulk. 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 Okay. Holy crap. Engines keep loosening. Let's see if we don't want to make a mess. So we're going to loosen just a wee bit. 
let it go slow, what's going to happen is going to, I don't know if it's going to create a vacuum necessarily, but what it does is causes all the fluid to drain out of there. Again, making this whole oil change process faster. There we go. Okay, so everything's off. And uh, yeah, so now we got to get together another vehicle going to, and there's going to be a little, <laughs> look at this, I'm trying to draw shapes like we're under there and we can see what's going on. But once you get under there, you're going to see this shape kind of goes like this. I don't know if you guys can see this like this. <laughs> and we're going to, uh, there's like a half moon thing with like a flathead adjustment or <laughs> flathead cross out, we twist that off. That's our little access flap and then a 17 millimeter socket. And all right, so always make sure you're wearing safety glasses, which I don't have on again, because I'm lazy and I don't feel like looking through my garage. This is the little crazy shape that I was trying to uh, draw out for everybody. Again, you can use a flathead. Sometimes you can just turn them off by hand. Obviously I uh, proved my hand strength earlier and couldn't even stink in get the oil filter cap off when it was already loose so probably cannot see because it's i mean dark outside but there's a 17 millimeter nut we're going to use our 17 millimeter socket and our wrench ratchet ratchet and lefty loosey righty tighty all right so that is loose let's slide our oil drain up under here and i'm uh, sorry if i'm blocking the view but now we get to watch some really really cool oil stuff as i probably make a terrible terrible mess but we just get to deal with it so one thing i have noticed about this gopro is it's kind of like owning a uh apsc i think that's the correct acronyms but a crop sensor based sony camera uh meaning the battery life is Terrible. So luckily that $349 kit is going to get you a extra battery included in that. And look at that, we're actually not making a mess. Look who still has it. Just kidding. Totally just joking. Alright, so we're going to let this drain. Um, you guys are going to hang tight and watch that because i got oil in my hands. I'm not going to touch my brand new camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up top pull the oil filter cap completely off, put a towel around it before I do that and make sure I don't get any oil spillage. Wow, look at that impact damage. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go up top and do that right now. So, cool stuff. Here's our oil filter and cap. There's gonna be a couple O-rings that we're gonna be replacing. First one being right here, and we're starting to make a mess. First one being right here, and then the other one actually being on the cap body itself. So I am going to grab my oil and filter and reposition camera probably not going to show you putting all of the uh you know drain plug back on there because it's pretty self-explanatory you know once this is finished draining we're going to put a new copper gasket or aluminum gasket whatever's going to come with it hope you can see this um uh, so here's our old one again we're going to be replacing that if you don't it's going to leak all over the freaking place and create a mess and you don't want to ruin reputation for BMWs. They already have a bad enough reputation for leaking oil. But that's how Germans design their vehicles to let you know that there's still fluid in there. Just I, Holy crap, that's bright. Uh, <laughs> I have been getting everything for both the Benz and the BMW through SCP Euro. This is going to shake around while I tear this bag open. You're just going to have to deal with it. How I found out about them, actually. Legit street cars. I'm just, you know, drop a link in the description to your channel just because I think you're freaking awesome. And you're from Chicago and work on cars. And I can only imagine how terrible that was with all the freaking rust and understand why you got out of that business professionally. Same reason I did. <laughs> rust is not fun working on cars. Anyway, so back to this is, uh, yeah, so I'm using liquid moly. Again, I got all my parts from FCP Euro. They have lifetime warranty. Return process is really, really, really easy. I've already had to go through a return process with them. It's very simple. Um, on the bins, they sent out a incorrect idler pulley. Didn't realize it until I had already had everything back on the car with the exception of that one idler pulley because it was a little bit different. So I reused the old idler pulley. They sent out full complete equipment over, um, everything new, which I just wanted the idler pulley. But again, they sent everything because they're freaking awesome so what did i do from there well took all the old stuff well new old stuff off sent it back 
didn't cost me anything. It was awesome. Shipping took like two days. I've heard people exchange spark plugs on N54s. I think that's unrealistic. Don't abuse the system, guys and girls. Um, they're nice enough to <laughs> let us, you know, return brake pads when they're worn out. You know, again, lifetime warranty. But anyway, I'll, I'll uh, drop a link in the description below. Uh, so we got our filter in here, right? Again, the man filter. HU816 is the uh, part number that they said were, was for this N54. Got the gasket. Got the little copper crush ring, and then that's the uh, gasket that goes on the drain back side of the oil filter element. Um, so I'm going to try and reposition, get this set up to where you all might be able to see how it is that I'm going to be popping all of this off. And uh, yeah. This app is pretty cool. I can literally set this up and, uh, you know, position everything where I want it. So, I'm going to pull that off. So, just using a pick, you can use a flathead screwdriver, um, whatever you can, whatever's easiest and convenient for you or at your disposal to get these O-rings off. Shove that one down in here. Get this little one off. Put this O-ring on first, make your life a little bit easier. And slide it over. And do the same thing for the one that goes over the cap itself there is a larger groove down here but the grooves that's where your larger o-ring is going to sit now we're going to put this on what you're going to do is squeeze gently until you hear a click welcome back got this tightened down with the strap wrench i would highly recommend just because the tool is so cheap or if you have one don't get lazy look for it in your garage or go buy one again they're really really cheap found this uh Michelob ultra from when kevin and i were making the psp video Believe it or not, I mean, it's still good. We've had, since that video, 40 degree days. We've had a couple 90 degree days and it's been sitting in the garage, which is not climate controlled and still good again. So, mm. Let's see, actually, let's read the, uh, minimum oil filling of three liters is requested for optimal production performance. Product, not production. Need to drink more of that uh, adult beverage. It's less than half a liter, and these take a little over six liters of actual oil, so might work out pretty well. All right, and now let's start filling up with these awesome liquid moly bottles. Let's use our big one first because it is five liters and it has this nice awesome fill spout built into it. Okay, let's try that again. There, there it is. Okay, get our cap off. And again, this kind of makes your life a little bit easier so you don't have to make as big of a mess. Okay. Sorry, I'm totally blocking the camera view. So, while this is dripping out, you can read upside down all the lovely oil specs. You can pause that because it's empty and I'm not going to wait on this. And here's more oil specs for you. Okay. Let's cap this off. Again, so we got 5.3 liters in there roughly. And it's going to take a little over 6 liters. So, we are going to stick this next one in here. And this one does not have that convenient fill spout. So, we are going to see how terrible of a mess I make. None. I'm going to let it get up to temperature and then run through the uh, oil level process since oil level reading process since these don't have dipsticks um, and you do have to do that at temperature. So yeah, we'll get right up on that and uh, That'll pretty much conclude this video. Might throw in there how to actually do this oil reading process just, just because.